Hey everybody, when deciding to create this video, I really had two different goals in mind. The first was to show you how in Final Cut Pro we can export a video with an alpha channel. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's a transparent channel. So you can have um, an item on your screen and then the background's all transparent so you can drop it over the top of any other footage and that transparency will allow you just to isolate the object in question and then use a separate background, for example. And the second part to this video was really to show you if, like me, you've invested a lot of money into plugins for Final Cut Pro and now you want to use DaVinci Resolve, well, instead of having to purchase all of those plugins again, if they're even available, some of them we can actually import into Final Cut Pro, export them with this transparency, and then we can re-import that into DaVinci. Yeah, sure, we won't have all of the same properties and options that we'll have, but we still can then utilize some of those items in the new DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, I've just got a library here. We can go create a new library, doesn't really matter. So we'll say new library. I'm just gonna call this one alpha. We'll click save. Okay, there's our library. I'm gonna right click here, create a new project. Now with this new project, I'm just gonna call it alpha as well. Now the key here is that we are going to want to have our export at Apple ProRes 4444. For now, I'm just gonna leave it here at the 422. That's okay. Gonna leave everything at 4K. We'll click OK. All right, and there's our new project. What we'll do now is we'll switch over to view all our titles and you can see we've got quite a lot of options here. I'm gonna pick one that I use quite a lot and that is MTuber 2. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find, there's a subscribe button that I kind of like using. And if you are a subscriber of mine, you will have seen me using this one a lot. It's this one here called Sidebar. I'm just gonna drag and drop that down onto our timeline and we'll just play it through so you can see what it looks like. All right, it's showing as a background of black and that's because we don't actually have a background. That's the way we're gonna leave it. So this one here, I'm just going to, let's make a couple of changes to it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I can always then make it smaller in DaVinci when I import that over. And in fact, let's drop another one on there and we'll make a little bit of a change to this one. Let's just change, we'll change the button color to say a blue and we'll change the burst effect to a similar type of blue. So when we have a look at this one, and let's just change that blue to something else as well. All right, so we've now got everything we want on our timeline. In fact, let's just add another couple of things in here just because we can, that'll do. Now we're going to go and export this. So we will go up here to our share. We'll export this as a file. We'll go to the settings tab here and we'll need to ensure that from this list, we've selected Apple ProRes 4444. So let's select that. Let's click next and we'll click save. Now that's going to ensure our project here is rendered out and we're going to have a Apple ProRes file. That's going to be the result. In fact, you can see it here. Let's just quickly click play. You'll just see that it was exactly what we did before. So there's our larger subscribe button. Let's flick forward. There's the one in blue. Okay, there's another little subscribe and there's the notification bell. All right, we can close that now and now we can go into DaVinci Resolve where we can now import this clip. So let's just go to our finder window. There's the video. Okay, we can drag and drop that onto our timeline. And again, it looks much the same as it did in Final Cut Pro. So let's just stop that. But underneath this, I'm gonna add a solid color and let's just make that color totally different so we can see that it is indeed an alpha channel. So let's just expand this out. All right, now when we hit play in DaVinci, you can see that the background now has changed, it's yellow, and obviously our animations are now running perfectly in DaVinci. So as I said at the start of the video, the purpose of this was to show you firstly how to create an alpha channel video in Final Cut, but how you can also export a lot of the Final Cut plugins you have and use them in DaVinci. So I hope that tip's been useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and we're going to see you guys back here for another video. You have a great day.